This is my for the record message to judges, office holders, professors, state disciplinary council, law school dean. I don't expect it to be watched very often and it is longer than any of my, my others so you can turn this off now if you'd like. But here is my polite rant. I've listened to three seminar panels in the last 90 days alone of judges telling us how to behave before them. I've sat in on dozens of seminars by state disciplinary council, judges, and professors telling me how to be a good lawyer. And I appreciate those. But I've never been invited to a panel to talk to state disciplinary council, judges, professors, or law school deans of my ideas for them and for our profession. But I'm going to do that now, even though no one asked for it. My advice is be brave. Embrace change. Identify the core idea that change is not just inevitable, which I think we all understand by now. Accelerating change is the water in which we swim and the air in which we breathe. Accelerating change means exponential change. Stop trying to preserve our special place in the world, our being, being lawyers and, and uh, judges and other people who are lawyers that hold office or, or somehow are in place because they're lawyers. Strive to earn that special place. Race to stay ahead of what amount to wild dogs who are encircling us and snapping at our heels. One of the most incredible film segments I've ever seen, and I just saw it a few days ago, is David Attenborough's Planet Earth 2. Ocean-going iguanas are chased by racer snakes that come out from rocks as the iguanas are trying to go up onto the top of the hill to breed. And they take off and the iguanas take off. Some survive, many do not. The one poor guy or gal who was ensnared breaks loose and survived by putting up with having her tail snipped off by the last snake. To reproduce her superior genes, it was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen on TV and a good example of survival of the fittest. The law sits on 5,000 plus years of precedent and tradition. But the pace of change on a graph is nearly straight into the sky. In other words, instead of going like this, we are starting to go like this. Who would have dreamed even 10 years ago to suggest that children born in 2020 need not learn to drive how to drive a car? I have a six speed. I don't know that anybody else except my wife would want to drive that car. I've tried and failed to have a positive impact for change in my profession here in West Virginia, and so far I have failed at that, I believe. I haven't, on an individual basis, changed the way many lawyers do things, and I have not changed my profession. But here's my record, for the record message, that we will be irrelevant in 20 years if modern realities continue to be ignored.